Hi, you're here sewing with Cody and Pete. And in today's video, this is a follow-up video to our Brina L850 overlocker rolled hem video. In the rolled hem video, we talked about maxi lock stretch and wooly nylon, which is a fuzzy, uh, fluffy type of thread that really helps fill in those stitches when working with a rolled hem stitch. So here, I've got some wooly nylon. The threads don't match, but we'll get the same idea. So with this woolly nylon, the max lock stretch, this will not feed through the air threading system very easily. So to make it easy, we're gonna pull it through. So there's multiple ways to do it, but today's method, I'm going to show you how to use your thread that's already in your machine to pull through the woolly nylon. So with the Bernina L850 serger. We have five spool pins back here, but it's only a four thread. That extra spool pin is for stuff like this. So we don't have to take off our spool of our thread that we're gonna be replacing uh, since it's just temporary. We can leave him back there and then just put this on the fifth spool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change our upper looper to our, with our maxi lock. I'm sorry, with our woolly nylon. So what we'll do is we'll cut up here and pull that out of the way. So our, what was our upper looper thread, he's just now on his own spool. He can stay back there. So we can take our maxi lock stretch. My goodness, I'm so sorry. With our woolly nylon. And we can replace it here. So what we can do, we can open up our little door. And so we can see here, this is our upper looper. So we'll take him out and we'll thread the machine with our woolly nylon and bring it down like we're going to feed it through the air threading system, except we're just gonna tie it off. So you either tie it or you can create a little loop. I'm just going to tie it together. So we'll just tie this. It's a very similar method of how we use, uh, how we pull threads through on a non air threading system. So now we can make sure our foot's up and we can just pull that upper looper through. So now our upper looper, open this up, our upper looper is now threaded with that woolly nylon. So you can see here, that little fuzzy thread in there, and he's coming out of our upper looper. And one thing to always, always, always make sure, and that is that our lower looper is always going over our upper looper. Just like that. That's something you just wanna make sure that it's always doing. If not, it won't create any stitches. Now, in talking with this, there's another method that we can use. Um, so if you're ever working with a thread that is coated in like a wax or some type of substance, um, you can even feel this on a lot of threads. For instance, hand quilting thread has a wax coating on it. Um, so a, any thread that's coated with the wax, we want to avoid using the air threading system. So if you notice here, this is kind of a way to manually thread, um, those more difficult, those coated threads. So the way this will work is we're actually going to bypass the air threading system. So it's really nice if you are heavy machine threaded. So you can thread it with your regular thread using the air threading system. And then what you can do is you'll feed the thread. So let's say, I don't have an extra thread on me. So let's just cut this. And let's say we threaded the machine with a different type of thread. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to come down here. And so that, the thread I cut is my lower looper. And here is my lower looper right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm going to pull 
that lower looper thread out. So the looper itself is threaded, but then I can take my specialty thread. I'm going to feed it through its uh, proper hole. And then here, I can then tie off. Oh, let's see, tie my threads together. So here I would have my specialty thread coming and then my regular thread that's already threaded through my looper. And then I can just pull that looper through and then the thread is going to come over, come through here and then go through my looper. And then I can shut my door and I'm ready to start sewing with that specialty thread that we shouldn't put through our uh, air threading mechanism, like a coated thread. And the Breeding the Book manual does give you um, that same explanation of why and how to thread, just like we did. Um, and also, if you were, when you're working with hard-to-thread threads, because there are also some threads that are kind of wiry and they don't like being thread through the air threading system. Um, so you kind of have to pull them through in either method. All right, well, that is just another tidbit when working with more specialty threads, working with the air threading Bernina L850. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you'll see more videos uh, pop up for you. Otherwise, happy sewing.